Miller. There you go now. Is that key? Juan Mir's not got enough tyres. He's out there on an 18 lap hold. Medium front. That could be decisive. That could be decisive. Well, obviously, Mir's gone out in this second. Well, there you go. Tails are not over there. Van Farr, I'm guessing Rossi's gone out on brand new softs as well. Joan Zarco's got himself into the, the latest Fargo. They've just kicked him off, so what a humbling afternoon for Fabio Quattro, though. He's had a long pre of Styria. Jack Miller leads by just a tenth and a bit. Oliver, sprint race, serious lap times. He wants that first podium finish, doesn't he, Miguel Rivera? We're very close to breaking the race lap record set by Dobby here last year. Oh, with the lights going out, it's been a nightmare for Alex Rins. Yeah, he was wide, wasn't he, into turn number three. There's Fabio Quattamaro, he's down in 14th place. He's only one ahead of Joanne Zarco. Absolute nightmare. That is extraordinary, isn't it, really? And Jack had a DNF, of course, when he crashed out of the lead group in Jerez as well. Down the hill into turn nine. Nobody can seize complete control of this twin. You can't take your eyes off it, compulsive viewing. Dobby fairing there, now he's got past Brad Binder, and that, anything Miguel Oliveira can do, I can do better, says Paul Espargaro, that's five hundredths of a second away, which Juan Mir, does he fancy a look into turn three already, he's going through, he's going through, but can he hold it, yes, the opportunity for Paul Espargaro, didn't go his way last week, he's grasping it with both hands so far, Fabio Quattararo still just about the world champion leader heading to Mizarra Tires. What's going on? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, guys, he's restarted with the same front, but he had a brand new rear. To the zone now, isn't he? He's closing on Jack Miller. He's closing all the time. They'll be severing from the number 44, who's got unfinished business after what's happened in the last fortnight. Across the line, we go back on through. He's lost drive coming out of turn one as Polis Fargo goes Tyler. Rins again wide at the top of your picture. Yeah, fancies a look up the inside of Juan Mir and Will goes through and just forces him out. Dolby starting to look really, really menacing here, look really, really strong. To fear. It's really hard. did. I'm, I, I cannot see Mir holding on to a podium with that tyre. You can see that. It's such a shame. Yeah, he can't watch. Miguel Oliveira at the moment is up there in third place. About what happened last Sunday. So, seven laps to go. Here Six we go again. To go. Yeah, here comes Paul Much more defensive line. Hugged the middle of the track there, didn't Miller, to make sure there was no way to... So, that is a proper collector's item. Oh, that's tight through turn three. That's really tight. Yeah, you get the feeling here as well, though. Paul Espargo can get it through. He's got the better pace at the moment. You just wonder how Jack Miller's can't watch. Well, they've had some ups and downs over the last couple of weeks, haven't they? The KTM factory. It's a two-pronged attack. With Oliveira also in there as well behind Paul Espargo. Isn't he? Here comes Paul and he's going to attack down into turn nine. He goes alongside Jack Miller and through he goes. But can he? Look how they all concertina up then coming out the final corner. This is going to be a pretty frantic and frantic final for us. And winning his oh, first. Oh, the has gone way well, well, too well. That's his podium chance is gone. But with Paul, is he going to have a look up the inside? No, I love that line from Jack. That is box office slightly wide on exit there from Paul Espargo. Jack Miller, it's Speedway, uh, it's quite a GP jam, not Speedway. That was a good impression of Aussie Jason Trump there. What? 43, wide oh. from Mary, struggling with yeah. grip, and Dobby then gets another place, and he gets closer, and he's obviously struggling. You've got to feel for Juan Mir, you've really got to feel for him, because he was so well-placed. He's using all of his experience to try and get himself back into this podium battle. Every point price is, of course... In right, finish straight we go, and Paul powers away, down the start, finish straight. There goes Dobby as well. It shows those lap times were different by just five thousandths of a second. Dobby was wide on the exit dives now. Takanakagami's in sixth place. Have they got anything? Four laps to go for the Styrian Grand Prix. Whatever happens, this is Jack Miller we're on board with. Sliding now around turn five. We had some great slow mos here yesterday. See, where are, I mean, that's that's a sign that things are not good for Juan. Through turn six, there you can see. This is the hell of hot through turn nine as well. Very uncharacteristically erratic at the moment, Andrea. It's way from Jack Miller, and you just know Miller, who's not had a win on a Ducati yet, will throw every bark comments about Polis Bargro's temperament post Spielberg last weekend. So. KTM 
here. Three down, three to go, sorry, here in uh, Austria. That's a bit too far away from Dobby to being able to keep Ducati's unbeaten run going. The hooded shoulder of Jack Miller. Yeah, Cam Miller keep their golden run going here. His display today is a spoil weekend of merit and better than this. He deserved better than fifth place if that's the outcome. It's good. It looks like the win's coming from one of these three. Polis Bargaro, Jack Miller, Miguel on that's the outcome in a couple of laps time for Polis Bargaro. He gets good drive grip out of that first corner. There's no... Yeah, Miller, the only winner. Stances wasn't it, Odin? That's it. Great defending as well by Miller. He just stopped that Ducati smack bang in the middle. Oh, Everything oh, here. Near and Nakagami were wide there in turn four as well. As that cost them places to Alex Rins. Let's look a little closer to Polis Bargaro. Two laps to go here. Is Miller going to have a little... Well, the last two sectors for Polis Bargaro and the KTM. He's looked so, so good over the course of the two Grand Prix here. Bargaro taking what would be a memorable victory for KTM on home soil. This is going to be the biggest lap of his life. For barely watch Polis Bargaro on the brink of the biggest day of his Grand Prix career. He's on the brakes then into turn three. Miller then. He's not going for that unusual line this time defensive from Paul and he knew it from Miller yeah Polis Bargo just got in a little bit too hot he's coming Miller is going to try and attack him on the brink of Polis Bargo he tries to fight back through five no way through this is also this brings Oliveira into the picture I think one of these three can Miller hold on Oliveira he's trying to find a way through on Polis Bargo hang on here in the Red Bull ring can he keep the cat he's the wrong go here comes Polis Bargo over the crest down tipping slightly down Tried for 20 years at Yamaha. Miguel Oliveira is the man on bright in that final lap. Look at those scenes in Tech 3. Can you believe it? Wow. Tortugil, oh. Tort Jack Miller. Well, they're both so intent on trying to take victory that. Well, it was Marquez de Vinci last lap. This is turn four. Block pass from Miller. Had to be done. <laughs> and he did it. Into the last turn. Block pass, Miller thinks it's just, he's got it done. And then look at Oliveira, he keeps it. Absolutely astonishing, look at that. Coming into turn 10, he was third. He oh, comes out, they punch around down in pit lane with Simon. Simon, I told you a few days ago, you know, maybe that was something that was in my mind and maybe I would uh, retire before that would happen. And today this is happening and uh, I was later the best day of your life. I'm just happy to share that moment with you, my friend, because you're a special guy, Simon, special guy. It's just such yeah. high emotions going on here. Can you believe it? Hervé Poncherel, they tried for 20 lap. And Miguel Oliveira is our newest Grand Prix winner in the 900.